Hey guys, today I've got one of my favorite side dishes of all times. That's right, it is roasted carrot time on the Big Green Egg. It's gonna be tasty and delicious. Let's get cooking. All right, we uh, stirred the ash off here. We're gonna go ahead and add our Canadian maple charcoal today. We'll get that refreshed beautifully. And once we have that nice and full, we'll be ready to go. All right, now that we have our charcoal topped off, we're gonna go ahead and start the fire today using my egg igniter. So we'll hit the flame like we normally do. We'll get a nice little fire going, and then we're going into fan mode. Like I always say, it's the afterburner. We're kicking that in. We're gonna get this thing up and running. All right, now that we have that flame going, what we're gonna do is bring this up to 200 degrees and add our convector and convector basket. We're cooking indirect today, so we'll bring the temp up to 200 degrees. We'll come back, show you how we add that convector. Now for our ingredients today, I'm going to keep it easy and simple because I wanna let that big green egg flavor shine and I definitely wanna taste those amazing carrots. Now, I know we have a lot of different rubs and seasonings available at your local Ace. Today, I'm using some of that peach porter from my friends at Spiceology. We're gonna finish it off with a little bit of my fire honey to make it sweet and delicious, but I'll tell you what, starting the flavor today, we're using a little bit of that bacon up bacon grease because <laughs> bacon. Then we've got our baby carrots here that we got at our local grocery store. That's it. Super simple. Well, here we are right at 200 degrees. So I'm going to add my convector, convector basket, and my drip pan as well. Now I'm going to close the dome. We're going to adjust the bottom and the top for today's cooking temperature, 400 degrees. Now that we've got the carrots in the bowl, we trimmed the tops and everything. Time to season them up. Now, if you notice, these are not cooked yet. That's right, I'm leaving them uncooked because I'm gonna add a little bit of that bacon up and I'm gonna add some of that hickory peach porter. And that bacon up's gonna be the moisture we need to take these all the way through, get them cooked. They're gonna be perfectly al dente and then that seasoning's gonna be great. All right, we'll go ahead and start here with about a tablespoon and a half of bacon up. Now, what I'm going to do first is just get these carrots mixed up nicely so we get a very good coating of that bacon up. Get everything, right? We want to get 100% of those carrots coated and ready to go. And then we're uh, going to change one of our gloves when it comes time to season. We're going to go ahead and use that hickory peach porter to season these. Now, what I'm going to do is carefully just add a light coating of seasoning and get them mixed up because when it comes to these carrots, I don't want to overpower them. So I'll add a little bit, get it mixed, and then add a little bit more. The nice thing is I can always add more when I'm on the grill. Well, we hit 400 degrees, so now we'll go ahead and get the last of our carrots loaded. Now, the cool thing is, guess what? The grill grates are gonna let these carrots sit perfectly as they are. I've got them set right over that drip pan, so we're good to go. Now, we're gonna cook them at 400 degrees for about five to six minutes a side. We'll come back and give them a check up here and make sure uh, that they're doing what we need them to do. And then uh, once they're al dente and nice and tender, and we'll show you how to check for that, we may give them a little dusting of that peach porter again. We're definitely gonna hit them with a little fire, honey. Right after six minutes, let's dive in here and take a check. Now, I'm gonna start using a paring knife to check their doneness, and look at that. Actually, I'm not uh, too bad off. I'm pull, uh, putting that paring knife in there, and then I'm checking to see how fast they release. So we'll go ahead now and just give these a little uh, turn on each side, and we'll go ahead and keep going until they finish. Time for the 12 minute check-in, and let's see where we're, oh man. These things smell amazing. Let's see where we're at. Yeah, we're just not quite there. We're getting there, but we need a couple more minutes. So I'm gonna let them go for about another three minutes and then we'll come back and see if they're ready for a little honey glaze. Oh yeah, look at that. We are done and ready to go. Now what I'm going to do is a little bit of fire honey. I'm gonna go ahead and baste these, get a nice little glaze going, let that sit for two minutes and then we'll give it one more last minute sprinkle hickory peach porter, and then we'll see you in the kitchen. Oh, sorry, I was uh, too busy staring at my carrots lovingly, and I'll tell you what, these things are absolutely amazing. 15 minutes cook time on the big green egg to have one epic, epic side dish. Now, you know what this side dish goes great with, don't you? You, you know, right? It's turkey, and that video coming up next.